originally uh, in this episode, I was going to do a little build probably somewhere. Where am I? Like somewhere in the desert area here because I had a plan to make a farm, but we're in October now. And I think I have a plan that would be a lot better than building a farm for today's episode. And with it being October, it's Halloween time. And what better way to spend an episode than to show you how to upgrade your town or your base area to fit a Halloween theme. I have a lot of ideas that I've been coming up with the live stream that's with me right now, and we're going to implement them. So let's get started on a nice long list of awesome things to do. And the first thing I want to do is something that I gather from here. If we switch to RTX mode on and it's daytime right now, so we're not going to like fully see it is the soul lanterns. We have soul lanterns over here by our like tower that's like encompassing our uh, witch farm there. So, ooh, colored glass. We might have to do some of that too. But what I want to do is I want to get a whole bunch of soul lanterns because if we go back over to the base here, we have a whole lot of lanterns all over the place, a lot of them for like good lighting around. And I think it'd be fun, tedious, but fun to replace all of these with soul lanterns. So I think that'll be our first step. And now the long painstaking process begins of replacing every single one of these, at least anything that could be seen from the outside with soul lanterns. Yep, this is probably gonna take at least an hour or two because I have lanterns everywhere. Okay, so after going through and spending what was about an hour and a half replacing all of the soul, all of the soul lanterns, all of the regular lanterns around the base of soul lanterns, it looks really cool. And we're going to save a look in RTX mode for the very end. I don't want to go to RTX mode too soon with you guys. I want the full transformation to be seen. So the next thing we can do after soul lanterns is going to be soul campfires. So let's go make some of those. In case you don't know, to make a soul campfire, you just need three sticks, one soul stand, and three of any kind of logs. I just went and made like a handful of them. I don't know why 42 is a handful, but 42 is, is a handful right now. And we're going to go through and just kind of miscellaneously place these around. I may have more purposeful spots to put them as things evolve. But for now, we can find some like good planned spots to have these sitting. Okay, I have various campfires around the place now and we need to move on to the next thing that we need to do. And this is actually gonna be continued in like a later part of the episode, but I need honey blocks for stuff and things. Actually some really cool stuff and things that was recommended to me to do by the stream. And to get honey blocks, we need bottles of honey. And I do have a bee farm here, but my bee farm gets me honeycomb. So I think with a couple of basic modifications to this thing, we can turn this into a temporary honey bottle farm. So first thing I'm gonna do is go get some bottles. And what better place to get bottles than my witch farm, which also is very theme fitting for this episode. Um, if we go down here, I should have a lot of empty bottles. There we go. Okay, so now I have a lot of empty bottles. I'm just gonna fill up my whole inventory with them. And let's head back over to the honeycomb farm. Okay, now back over here at my bee farm, what we should need to do only is just to pop in the back of here. Oh, I'm gonna have to like, am I gonna have to rip apart a lot of this? I need to get up further. Oh, our bee, I hope bees don't get out. All right, hold on, let's, um. it might almost be better to do this at nighttime, because at nighttime, no, this should work. All right, hold on. We're gonna be ready to close this up really quickly if we need to. Okay, no, we're good. All right, so we need access to all these dispensers, which actually, this farm isn't even working anymore because these dispensers don't have shears in them. We're actually going to go through and just replace it with honey bottles. And what should happen, I think, is these honey bottles should start, or these empty bottles should start filling with honey. And then we could just come in here and then just pick them up. And we'll do that more towards like the end of the episode. So that way we can get our honey blocks and kind of do the last portion that I have um, planned for the stream. And I need to spread these out better. So while we wait for some honey to accumulate there, let's come over to the pumpkin patch. And I'm sure you probably know what I'm about to do now, because what kind of Halloween decorations could possibly exist without getting a whole bunch of pumpkins to make a whole bunch of jack-o'-lanterns. So we're gonna get a few stacks of these guys 
and then I'm gonna show you, if you don't already know, how to make a jack-o'-lantern. And now that you have your pumpkins, go ahead and lay them out. I usually just lay them out in pretty big rows like this. And then you could take shears and shear the fronts of them all. I can't talk. And shear the fronts of them, or really, it doesn't matter, the front or back. Does it matter? Yeah, I guess they'll like, they'll face whichever way you shear them, right? So just go ahead and shear all of your pumpkins. And now you will have, not jack-o'-lanterns yet, you have carved pumpkins. I'm gonna make a bunch more of these, and then I'll show you how to make them into jack-o'-lanterns. Now, once you have your jack-o'-lanterns, go grab yourself a stack of torches, go to a crafting table, and when you go over here, jack-o'-lanterns are just quite simply a carved pumpkin and torches. So, I have a stack of them, and now I'm going to go ahead and just place these around fun miscellaneous areas. It's like decorations in front of houses and different things like that. So that way, we can have yet another thing to fit that Halloween theme. So now with jack-o'-lanterns, like miscellaneous is like placed around and usually you're going to want, want to put jack-o'-lanterns like close to buildings because it's going to usually be like a homeowner or maybe a shopkeeper that's going to like set them up. I, didn't, I tried not to put too many of them like out in miscellaneous areas that didn't like look like it was somebody's like particular property of some sort. So now that we have jack-o'-lanterns around everywhere, we need to move on to our next phase. What type of Halloween decorations would we be doing if we did not include cobwebs? And there is a couple of different places that are good to get cobwebs. Okay, so place number one is to definitely come to an abandoned village, which until recently on Bedrock Edition, and we've already loaded a lot of them into our world here, but they are like extremely common on Bedrock Edition until the last update that just came out. So, um, since we loaded these chunks beforehand, we have a number of abandoned villages around that I can go to and we can use some shears to get the um, cobwebs up. I think there's probably not a whole lot at this village because I came here early in the season to get some wool to make a bed early on. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to probably go find the second place that you can get cobwebs easily. Another place you can go after it took me a while to do so is a mine shaft. So if you know where a mine shaft is in your world or you want to use a resource like chunk base to find them, um, you can find lots of cobwebs in mine shafts, especially if you can end up coming across or finding um, a cave spider spawner, which I hear some around because they always have a ton, a whole lot of cobwebs around them. Look, there's one right there. Let's see if we can invade this without like getting owned. Let's uncover it and put that there. Okay, we should be good. Awesome. So this is probably where I'm gonna get my jackpot of, jack, I can't talk. This is where I'm gonna get my jackpot of spider webs. So I'm just gonna go through and, and pretty much get all of them. After a whole bunch of time down in the mine shafts, uh, the, the main thing to look for is like, look for the cave spider spawners. Cause that's where you find a lot of these. Uh, we, we now have, I think I have like four almost five stacks of cobwebs It's probably more than I need. But now we're just gonna find like good miscellaneous places to put these. It would maybe make sense for spider webs to go. Like, I don't know, like out here maybe. That looks good. And yeah, I'm just gonna decorate the builds again. Maybe like hanging from some trees a little bit, right? Like this. And I think this is gonna make the place look really good. Now that you have your cobwebs installed all over the place, and again, making the place look even spookier, I'm absolutely loving it. It took a little while to do, but it was kind of fun to like fly around and figure out where to put these things. Uh, the next thing we could do is a little bit of blood. Fake blood though, fake blood though. This is this is a family friendly channel, but uh, you know, just a little, maybe some little splatters here and there, right? Maybe ones that aren't connected to things, because that looks a little bit better. So yeah, I think a little bit of fake blood splattered around in different areas might make sense. Maybe it'll be indicative of some sort of a crime scene that happened, or maybe something else that maybe could have occurred in the area. I think the butcher shop here should probably have a few splotches of it. Ow! I think I'll probably, you know, get burnt to death too. Um, and yeah, take some redstone dust and put it in some cool, fun, conspicuous crazy places like up there because that seems like a really good spot the next thing we're going to incorporate is candles and to make candles you need to have some honeycomb which we have a farm for that down that way and you need to have some string which we have a general mob farm for the string so we got plenty of materials to make candles and then you can after you make the candle you can combine it with dye to dye it and i got some black 
and some red candles here that I'd like to set up. And I wanted to play with a few different things. First of all, our candles like have things they can and cannot sit on. And I haven't actually played with that. So you cannot sit them on this, right? But I know for a fact that you can put a block down, put a candle down, knock up the block, the candle will float, and then you can sit it like this. So I wonder if we can make like do some sort of combination after I go to sleep because it's turning nighttime and I don't want to blow up. So I'm wondering if I can find like some kind of like really cool ways to like make these little candle displays. And I I don't think I'm going to do a lot of them because I don't think there's going to be like a lot of good areas to put them at. But like, I don't know. What if we use this area, for example? So what if we put one of these and one of these and like this, 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 and then we light, light, and light, and out, and light me. Um, I don't know. It looks kind of cool. I don't know if I'm going to do a lot of them. I don't know if I'll vary them a little bit, but it kind of gives this like spooky, almost gothic like vibe. So maybe I'll do some things similar to that. We'll have a couple of those and then we'll just find other miscellaneous places that I can like place a bunch of these, right? Like maybe I just want to put a bunch on top of a pumpkin. I don't know, but we're going to find places to set all of these up and just add to the overall ambience and ambient ambiance. <laughs> whatever of the town and you know what actually i don't know why i thought about didn't think about this but like we just went over how we can make candles float so like why don't we just have like floating groups of candles like of various sizes and heights just like floating around the town do i want um do i want groups of them or do i want to do like singles like we, i guess we could go either way right like we could, maybe we could have like a few floating candles on this path. So like we can have one go too high and then one right here, go three high and another two and then maybe a single. And like we could go one, 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 one. And like, I don't know, maybe we can like have another one right up here like this one. Let's see what happens. We knock this out, take a look. I'm going to need to get more flint and steel. Hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. That looks spooky. Oh, that would look so good at night in RTX if candles actually worked in RTX. Unfortunately, they don't actually let off any kind of light unless they fixed that recently, which I don't think they did. And I'm going to need more flint and steel, but I like this. This is the main way we're going to incorporate candles. Okay, we got floating candles around now. They look absolutely awesome, but I wanna move on to something else. And I don't quite know the exact execution of this yet. I need a good space. Like this I might actually be one. So what if we do this and this and this? Hmm. And maybe we even like break this in like this, this, we do like a little bit of this action right here. We throw down a couple of chains, put this right here, and then we put campfire right here like this. First of all, is that even going to go through it? It's not. Will campfires even go through a cauldron, period? They do. All right. I have like multiple plans that I want to do. But the first plan. First plan. I like this. We, we need at least one of those just like that. Maybe we'll even do something a little bit like that. It doesn't. I don't like that. It doesn't all the way connect over to the sides. But it's magical, right? And then what we can do is I can get out my shulker box here because we have some potions and then we can actually put potions in here. So maybe we'll do, let's see, I have a lot of potions of weakness. So then maybe let's do those and we'll fill this thing all the way up to the top. Does this stop it from, no, it doesn't. Good. I was worried it would stop the smoke from coming out. 
Yeah, it looks good. Awesome. So now we got like a little bit of like potion in there sparkling around along with the the smoke coming out the top. And yeah, I like it. I love it. And I guess as well, as long with these cauldrons, maybe we could put some brewing stands around. I don't know where, I don't know where I would like to incorporate them. Maybe like as part of like, I don't know, like maybe I can put a brewing stand right here. And I should probably put some bottles in it, right? I think that would look good. Doesn't necessarily matter what bottles you put in. Just go ahead and put those down there. And yeah, that looks kind of cool. Maybe we'll incorporate a couple of those around. Another thing we could do is add a little bit of color around. So I have things like warped fungus and crimson fungus. We have some weeping vines and some twisted vines and even some like crimson roots and stuff like that that we could take around. I'll be using some of this stuff right here later, so don't worry. Uh, but we're gonna take these things and maybe some a little bit of like soul soil with us and just make like some little patches here and there of some little areas that just add like a little bit of extra spook to the town. Stuff like hanging some weeping vines down from some of the trees. And also, in just some miscellaneous areas, we'll go ahead and, you know, we could put up some of the, what are these? Twisted vines. And they'll kind of grow upwards and give us just a little bit of, like, extra Halloween, evilly looking color around the place. And I don't want to make things too dense, I don't think. Just kind of like little miscellaneous spots here and there for these things to hang down from. And now we got we got a lot of color. This place is really starting to look kind of crazy. I don't want to clutter things up too much more, but I have one more small thing to do. And then I got one really big thing to do. Not really a big thing, kind of big thing to do. So the small thing to do, I think, is just to get some wither skeleton skulls around. I didn't know if I want to have them like as like heads on a spike type of a thing. It looks kind of cool and a little eerie. So I might like just dot a couple of these around and a little bit more of like the like a little bit more empty ish like areas I guess places that aren't already cluttered with a lot of stuff we can do that and I guess they can even go in like places like this too right like they don't have to necessarily be out there in like the dirt or the grass or something yeah I like that that looks really cool so we'll do a little bit of this and then we're gonna move on to the bigger portion of the Halloween decorations Another thing that might not be a bad idea. I grabbed the soul soil. It's like just put some little like patches of soul soil around something like this. I'm going to try to like I don't want to mess up my pathing and stuff. So if I put it anywhere in here, I'm just going to probably do it in the coarse dirt areas kind of like this maybe just to kind of give it a little bit of like a spookier color. We need to go to sleep. I don't want you guys to see this place when it's dark. Yeah, it's another thing too, like I don't want to overdo it. So I think just a couple little patches like here and there of some soul soil and some different areas, I think will kind of bring things together like really good. Like this area is already kind of busy. So I don't know if soul soil is really going to maybe mess with that too. A lot of this area is really busy. This is like the main pathway I've been messing with. Um, this area is really busy too. Uh, we can maybe use some like underneath the candles here. Maybe a little bit out this way. And I think I think that might I think that might do it. If I find any other spots to put it, I can I can add some more in. But now that we've gotten all of these like more minor details done, I have some big plans for this area right here. And by plans, I mean I know generally what I want to do. I have no clue how I want to execute it. And the build, the thing that we're gonna put here. I think it's going to be some form of like a cemetery graveyard like thing. And I'm trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it, but I like the idea of maybe like alternating this. Right. And then here, let's get like a couple of them and I have to knock some stuff up, which is fine. I do want to try to keep things all connected and not do things in diagonals. Do I have, I don't, where's my under chest? Yeah, and then what we can do is we could take like iron bars. And I think that will they connect to everything here? Oops, I'm, I'm gonna probably just gonna I'm gonna do that a lot. It's fine. I just want to see what it looks like with this little tiny section here. 
and yeah, that'll look good. We'll probably, of course, take it up a little bit higher. We'll have like some areas like the side right here, like wherever it like actually officially starts. I don't know if that's going to be this location or not, but like it'll have like little posts periodically. And yes, this is going to look really good. We might not even make it that much taller than this, maybe one taller at the most. And then we'll have like some sort of like a big entrance that'll go right here. That's like the gate to go inwards. So I'm going to get the fencing area done first and then we'll start to kind of lay out the ground a little bit and see what we're going to put in it because I got some super cool plans to go inside of it too. All right, got an awesome looking like graveyard wall slash like entryway design. And I even like for a brief moment tried to figure out how to do some lights on here to look good, but I couldn't like nothing was working and looking good to me. So we'll, we'll maybe come back to that later. Um, for now, though, I think I want to transform all of the dirt in here or at least almost all of it to make it look and feel a little bit like deader. OK, now we have a base block down and I, I need to incorporate some tombstones. What what do people make tombstones out of in Minecraft? Let me look. All right, let's try something out here. Let's try something out here. Let's put let's put this here. Put this here and. Yeah, I think that can make a good tombstone. I think that looks good. All right, let's go with a few of those around. Maybe a couple different varieties of block too. Okay, it's time to check on our honey bottles here because I'm at a point here pretty soon where we're gonna need them for something. And this was suggested by my stream that I was on the other day. So I thought it was a great idea. Let's see what I got. Oh yeah, I don't know how much honey I'm gonna need. It's not gonna be a ton. So just grabbing. I don't know. Those bottles should be more than enough. OK, next phase is we need to dig down some graves. So let's go through. And let's dig those down. And I'm putting honey blocks down in the bottom of the graves. And a lot of you will probably know why already. If you don't, then you'll see why here in a little bit. If you do hit up that comment section down below and see if you can guess exactly what it is that I'm doing because this is going to be really fun. We're not going to use these quite yet because I, I want to like texture this ground a little bit before we do anything, but this is going to be really awesome. I'm actually kind of excited about this. OK, I've got these graves set up and you'll find out what those are here in a little bit, but I wanted to add in a little bit of something extra um, in terms of lighting because I couldn't figure that out out there. So I figured maybe we can have like some little fires burning throughout here. We'll add in like a certain level of light to the area. And I'll just have to like take a look and see what that's going to look like when it's nighttime. I went ahead and added in some dead bushes. It's about to turn nighttime. We're not going to look at this in RTX yet because I need to bring over some friends. I'm going to find them. And I found some friends. Come on, guys. This is actually, this is perfect. It couldn't have got too much better than this. Okay, come on, come on, follow me. All right, perfect. We got him in there. One, two, three, four. We need to find a fifth. But why did I do this? Because honey blocks make it so you can't jump. So I can have zombies buried here in the ground or coming up out of the dirt, but they can't actually get out. And then why do I have these dispensers? Because I should scoot this guy down just a little bit. <laughs> uh, yes, not only is this good because it looks cool, but it'll actually keep them from uh, burning up in the um, in the sunlight, too. <laughs> it just looks too funny with his nose poking out. <laughs> oh, I love it. OK, I'm uh, tangling with the witch right now because I, I saw him and I want the witch to come here. Come on. No. Oh, there we go with the poison. Why is he so stuck? Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Come on. Come on. I need to get you all the way back to this one. Oh, God. This is so not. This is not good. Oh, God. And and there I go. And some of my stuff just burned. This, this was not, this was the worst idea I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Now what am I going to do? Oh no, he's killing the, the zombies. Okay, I can't have that. I'm going to have to kill him. Well, everybody, F and chat for Prowl. The witch killed all but one of the zombies. At least I think that's what happened to them. Because they shouldn't despawn with hats on. And the witch killed me. So now I got to wait for nighttime again to refill the graves. 
Okay, I have a thought. I'm not sure if this will work or not. Uh, you know what? He'll probably come out. I don't know. All right, we're going to try something here. It's it's a little bit risky because this guy's probably going to escape. But if he does, it's not like it's not the end of the world. I can just get another one in. Uh, where's my shovel? Let's take out a couple pieces of dirt here. Hello. <laughs> let's face a couple pistons this way like this. And then let's push this dirt. Okay, that did not work. That did not work. Um, how do I get you back in? Now let's try. <laughs> uh, this is too good. I oh, love it. Okay, awesome. Mission accomplished. I don't know if he's going to stay here when I like load and unload the chunks. So I guess we'll have to like try that out. I guess let's test that out. I have a feeling he might glitch up through the blocks though. And he's just completely gone. Did he despawn? I thought they weren't supposed to despawn if you put something on them. I'm going to have to name tag them too. Okay, that has finally been fixed. And I believe they're staying in here. I name tag them because I think it just despawned. I, I don't know. Maybe the, the hats don't make them not or the heads don't make them not despawn. A couple of them picked up dispensers. So I guess that's their Halloween bucket. I don't know. But in any event, I left a couple of the graves open. A few of them are like closed in. And I got one more thing to do before we finish because I really wanted to try this out. So this last thing was doing, I had seen an example of something kind of similar to this online. And I wanted to try it myself. And that has to do, I guess we'll do it right here. With actually, we're going to make a petrified tree. I think. <laughs> um... So what we have is we're going to use uh, basalt as our tree trunk and maybe like, you know, just mix in like a piece. Maybe we'll mix another one in somewhere else of the smooth basalt just to give a little bit of texture to it. It's turning nighttime, so we're going to go to sleep so we don't get exploded. And what we're going to do is we're going to use coral blocks as the leaves, because when you place a coral block outside of water, it dies. There we go. And that would make a kind of cool... Like, I think we got it like a couple of leafy looking textures here that would work for what we're doing. So I'm going to see if I can make this happen. It's not the best tree in the world, but it looks kind of cool. I do. I do like the palette. I don't. Do I want to put like a couple more of these around? I don't really like building trees that much, especially these are kind of kind of difficult because I only have a limited amount. All right. Where's my face? I only have a limited amount of these blocks. I didn't get a ton of them. They take kind of a while to get. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll build one or two more. Okay. I got a couple of the trees up. I didn't go too crazy with it. Just something pretty simple. I think I'm going to spend a couple of last moments, maybe making sure that I don't want to add any more lighting to this. And once nighttime comes out, it's time to do a little bit of RTX. I haven't cheated to see what it looks like myself yet. <laughs> I've got to be excited. I can't wait. Okay. So first let's take a look through without RTX mode on during the daytime. And I think the decorations came across really good. I really focused more on the actual like busy areas of the town, especially like this little area right here, because this is kind of like where all my main like builds are. Um, but and that and I'm glad I'm not doing this after I have all the builds in because that would have been like a really daunting task. But <laughs> It looks so awesome. I love the way this looks just like all the little magic of like the candles floating in the air, the blood spots on the ground, the jack-o'-lanterns, the pops of color. I threw in some chains just like randomly hanging down from stuff like it's really, really, really cool looking. The cauldrons, all of that. And it's about to turn nighttime now, the spider webs. So let's go back. Let's see what it looks like at nighttime with RTX. And here we go. RTX on. Let's walk around. We should we should probably have a sword out just in case. And like, yes, like the colors already like at nighttime just look so cool. I love the jack-o'-lanterns. Those look awesome. The little like stand I have there. That's kind of like oddly placed in front of it, but that's fine. That's OK. The moon glimmer off the ground like the pebbles. That's really cool. The I like the glow underneath here. You can't really see the potion in there too good in RTX mode, I guess, because You'd need to have like some kind of light reflecting. Oh, wow. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. that looks so cool. Okay, hold on. We're going to go there last. Oh, man. Ooh, this looks so good. This is definitely, I forgot that the, the redstone glows in the RTX pack, even when it's not like powered, but that's cool. That's fine. Yeah, like everything looks so neat. 
Everything looks absolutely awesome. I really wish the candles actually like emitted light. They look really cool just floating up in the air randomly. It's very like ominous and spooky looking. Like I would not, you could not catch me walking down this street in real life right now. <laughs> I'd be too terrified. All right, let's go look in the graveyard. First of all, I didn't know these things glue, glowed, glue, glow, glow, whatever the word is. Oh gosh, I'm stuck. Uh, I forgot to look over here. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't know that those glue, glowed. I'm not going to know what to say. Uh, that looks really cool. Awesome. I, I probably could have even hung some like uh, soul lanterns from those would have looked really neat. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, now let's go to the graveyard. All right, here we go. Oh, dude, this looks so spooky. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him just buried down in the ground. Oh, man. This is so cool. <laughs> the candles. Oh, that right there. That fire going up on that tree looks absolutely awesome. Oh, I'm so happy I did this. This is so cool. Do you guys want a world download? People have been asking me for a world download. We're going to do a Halloween world download, and then I'll do like another one like after I take it all down for people that want the world to just look like normal, I guess. But this is awesome. This is really cool. Okay, I got to go get a screenshot for the thumbnail because this is going to look absolutely awesome. And I think that is going to do it for this episode. I appreciate everybody coming to hang out for this one. Hopefully you've learned how to decorate for Halloween. And now I would love to see your screenshots that you've done or that you can take me for your Halloween decorations. Join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Drop me those screenshots. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you're crazy. What are you doing? Click the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button on this video right now. And I'll see you in the next video or in stream. Bye.